was actually a big protest and a riot after that. And they smeared all of them and like shut it down and called it a right wing racist, you know, conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we need to um, we need to grow a pair, man, and, and use our um, social media like I am, man, to fight against that, man, because this is insane, man. This is I, I, I know I've said that Great Britain, England, Wales, Scotland, all of them, Ireland, they're done. I've said that on many situations. I've said they've they've gone too far. They've let too many of them in. I, I've said that, but the gas like it's that time of year again. You believe in yourself as every doctor who ever This is the this is the stabbing suspect, Alex Ruda Kubana. He was a child actor. He was once a child actor. That's crazy. He had a he 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 got to take advantage of Gladys Society. Rwanda, where he's from, I don't know if they have a a, a a Rollywood, but if they do, let's just say they got Rollywood in Rwanda. That shit sucks. And you can't make no fucking money in it. I mean, the only reason they would know what film was is because of gliders exactly exactly this guy went to england lived his best life lived a lived a great life man um and then he turned around and stabbed all these white girls snuffed them out unbelievable um Now the 17-year-old appeared in court and charged with murder of three young girls at a dance studio in a horror knife attack on Monday. And listen, lynching, man, this is what you got lynched for, man. This is what the lynchings were about back in the day, man. Everyone wants to act like lynchings was just them... Oh man, it's Friday night, man. What are we gonna do tonight? I don't know, man. The Cubs closed, man. Want to go lynching a moon cricket? No, man. This is what the lynches were about. They were about this stuff. It'll be very interesting to see how exactly the court system over there handles this and punishes this guy because if they don't drop the hammer on him, whatever that means over there, it's only going to embolden more sons to behave this way. Because if you let a son know that they can get away with something, no matter if it makes sense or not, they're going to do it 10 times as hard. Exactly. No, no, no doubt, man. The, yeah. They, the, the message they send about this. Yeah. And I think they're going to send a soft message. I think they're going to like, um, I think they will too. They're going to deem him unfit to stand trial or some shit like that. Um, Roger Wood says, my wife nor the government got this $5 today. Shout out to you, Roger Wood, man, in the building. Roger Wood, man. Yeah. Wake up, chat. Wake up, Oct Nation. I'm asleep. I know I'm, I'm tired as hell. I get it, man. I'm tired as hell, but we got to wake up, man. Um, Hit the like button, everybody. Let's get them likes up, man. It's just really like, it's really like slow for friday man hit them likes man get them likes up man smash that like button man fuck man i'm up here tired as shit man i could man i could be in my back could have i i could have um played a rerun tonight and been sleep right now man Dang, so how many, how many of these guys are getting shipped to israel <laughs> none um, well, mm. Israel does have. They do get some of those Ethiopians, though. But they 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 treat them like shit, and they quick to um deport them. Quick to deport think, them. With, yeah. I think Israel like people immigrate there, but then they ship them out. Like they they do a pretty good job of uh, keeping them moving. Yeah. They they don't play. Israel don't play when it comes to like if you fuck up, you out of here. <laughs> 
he arrived at court with huge security around him. The teenage defendant was in the white. This is just some weird white shit. Like, all the security. Like, yeah, it's already, like, they're already, it's already wrong. Yeah. And it's wrong innately. Like, there's nothing Gladys can do about it. This is their system. If you're you're proven, you're innocent to proven guilty, you you know, so you get a fair trial. We protect you until the trial. Like, this is their system on autopilot. But it's sending a horrible message to other people who would have never created this system. If in, a, in, a, in a sun community or a sand community, they'd be walking him through the mob with like two police officers like shielding his head with their hands. And shit. He'd be dead already. He'd be dead already. They would have killed him on the scene. <laughs> Oh, man. yeah, maybe so. Teenage defendant was in the white prison van. So far, anonymous, but about to be named publicly. <laughs> Axel Rudakabana is 17, British, born in Wales and of Rwandan heritage. He faces 14 charges, including possession of a kitchen knife with a curved blade. The most serious, the murders of B.B. King, Elsie Dot Stankham and Elise Aguirre. The attempted murders of eight other young children stabbed during a holiday dance and yoga class in Southport on Monday. And the attempted murder of yoga teacher Leanne Lucas and next door businessman John Hayes. Damn, yo, he yo, one dude with a knife caused a lot of problems because nobody even has knives like you can't even these people if they're law-abiding citizens they're not even carrying a knife themselves no mace no nothing i mean like it, you wouldn't even need a gun you would have needed some mace man gliders man listen gliders y'all send the wrong message man there's no way that guy gets the fucking try to kill this woman man um red blooded english woman and these three kids there's no way man he gets away with this man y'all somebody gotta gotta break into the jail and and, and whack him or somebody gotta um what's that guy ruby um what's his name ruby jack, jack ruby name? jack ruby yeah jack ruby got a jack ruby that guy man like, come on, man, white people, man. Yeah, what is what is what is up with y'all, man? Murder of yoga teacher Leanne Lucas and next door businessman John Hayes. Ruda Cabana made two brief court appearances, first before a magistrate and then a more senior judge. He hid his face for much of the time, refusing to confirm his name. In law, at seventeen, he's a child, so wouldn't normally be identified. Child but he's 18, an adult, next week, and the media asked the judge to scrap his anonymity. The prosecutor, Deanna here, said the court needed to balance the defendant's welfare That's against the public. Prosecutor? Yo, you can just tell, Maybe. like, look at that look, the aesthetic. She looks like her hair would probably be purple or blue. If she wasn't a prosecutor, what she say now? What is she talking about, man? Let me see what this whole talking about, man. We have to protect his the rights. Prosecutor Deanna here said the court needed to balance the defendant's welfare against the public's interest in the case. The prosecutor said naming him would reduce the risk of misidentification of others who might be subject to violence, as seen in the recent disorder. The police, she said, doubted that would ease public tension and the youth justice team wanted to keep his anonymity for his own welfare. Judge Andrew Maneri said it was exceptional, but he would allow Ruda Cabana to be named. Continuing to prevent the full reporting, he said, has the disadvantage of allowing others to spread misinformation in a vacuum. Ruda Cabana will be back in court in October when he'll be asked if he wants to plead guilty or not guilty. A provisional... You got to wait for October just for him to plead guilty or not guilty, which, to which he's going to plead not guilty. October. So he gets to fucking live life and smile and 
eat good food and jack off after he killed those three precious little white angels, man. You fucking kidding me, man? And then he's laughing in court. That's supposed to help his crazy plea that he's going to be entering. Yeah, you can't. You guys fall for shit like that, man. It's, it's crazy, man. Um, and now they're playing the victim. They're playing the victim. Were you here last night when the violence was happening? I certainly was. I certainly was. Just describe it for us. Well, it was terrifying. It was absolutely awful, horrendous. We couldn't understand this viciousness that was going on, and even the police. We're taking a, a hammer in from Think about how much of a gas like that is. They stab they're responsible for like mass stabbings, bombings all over London throughout the year since they've been there. They're the biggest threat on the street. He doesn't understand it. Yeah, you let and, and white people, you let these people gaslight you. It's so crazy, man. This gaslight is insane from this lot do you think the far right groups have hijacked this town's group? naturally it's it's uh, this oh, yeah. this is a beautiful town we've lived here for 30 years no bother at all we love the community the community loves us we don't have any issue with anybody uh, except maybe parking spaces and stuff like that but uh, we we don't have any any problem with the community and uh, really we we are here because The Rwandans, not him. They all gotta drop these stupid made up G religions. Wow. Um man. Yeah, I came across some information earlier today. Ooh. Oh, what, like this? Huh. No, not what? even just this, but in general about what is going down between I'm not going to say the country. I'll call it. Is it real? But I just, listen, I just bro. It's cool. uh -huh. Listen. Look. All I'm, all I'm going to say. People need to really start paying attention to worldwide politics and stop worrying about what's really going on here, and start worrying about these people that are all linked together, that have business over there and business over here. Because there's some things going on in the shadows that a lot of people don't know about. But I came across some stuff that, man, I did, I did a lot of digging today. And I came across, oh, I got a chart. Oh, it's crazy. Mm. Wow. Um, All I'm going to say is prepare that, for that the is, rock, That is the NWO. That is the New World Order. They are at the top. Exactly. 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 And people don't see it. It's coming though. Oh man, um, we're we're already in it, but it's gonna get worse. For real, a lot worse. So they're covering this on Good Morning America, at least though. Following some breaking news out of the UK, where police say a man has stabbed several people, they are calling this a major incident. This is happening in Southport, which is just north of Liverpool. So let's bring in CBS News foreign correspondent Ian Lee with a breakdown of exactly what is going on there. So uh, what happened, Ian? Uh, hi, Vlad. Yeah, we're hearing all the emergency services in the region are involved in this response. And what we know so far is just before noon, reports came in of a man attacking people with a knife. The local a ambulance man. service says they've treated at least eight victims with stab wounds. So this is when it first happened, but why did this come out today? This is when it, this is uh, yesterday, okay. Uh, I will, yeah, because I want to see how the mainstream media is covering this because now that his picture is out. This guy's a, this guy is a demon, man. He stabbed a bunch of little girls, man. Stabbed them to death, man. He's a demon. This is him right here.
maybe it's time to ban the hoodie. Yeah. Ban the hoodie, ban the burka, ban the oh, hijab, all that stuff, man. Um, or if you don't, if you, and listen, we, if you got a problem with it, man, look, man, I'll give you a ride to the airport, man. You ain't got to worry about it, man. All this I can't, kissing no, ass. The, the, the religious thing, I no, you can't, you can't infringe on people's religious beliefs. Well, I mean, that's 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 your opinion, and you're 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 Muslim, right? No. <laughs> you from Philly, dog? You Muslim, right? <laughs> no. No. You're on mute, uh, Philly. No, I'm not Muslim at all. No. I was yeah, not at all. I don't deal with any religion. So, like, what what is the reasoning behind not infringing on religious stuff? I mean, because this is that this is that these people's way of life. Like, I mean, for one, you but, you know, you look at it like, why does it matter? Because a lot of these people have been doing this since. The beginning of time, you know, well, not the beginning of time, but this is, you know, this is their way of life. I mean, and also you look but at why do we have to respect it? You why can do legislate we have that respect, stuff. I mean, why do we have to respect it? Because hey, we went into a lot of their countries and imposed our way of lives on them. No, I mean that isn't that what you should want to do if you want to win. <laughs> I like, why, why do you, like when you go to war with somebody is it all about like letting them have their piece of the pie or is it just taking what you want nah because he from philly and, and and in the streets and, and man niggas say stupid shit like that um um mr. remember philly, i came up a little different mr philly mr philly man stop it man stop just what stop, stop what this whole uh you know, yeah, we beefing with these dudes over here, and then you know they they get, they, they get to shoot up our um our, our cookout. You know, I mean, they, you know, I mean, we 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 you know we stomped one of them out at the club last week. So you know, what I mean, it's all right. I, yo, I don't listen. I don't put myself in those situations. Never been in those situations. No, but don't you know deal with people with it. But I know yeah. how people are. You know what I'm saying? You, I know how people are. Why would you come like that? Like it's okay to accept retaliation, not even retaliation, to accept like violence or something from you. I'm not accept. No, I'm not accepting violence. But what I'm saying is, when it comes to people religious and their religious practices, I'm not talking about violence. I'm talking about people's way of life. You can legislate that stuff, man. You you know, we got rid of polygamy. We, you know, you can, we got rid of cannibalism. You can't, you know, even if it's your religion. Yeah, 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 that's different. That's different. No, not really. No, the, you know, when you're you're praising to to a higher power. No, look, look what they did to the Mormons. They're not allowed to have polygamy. That was foundational to the religion. And they, you know, they said, no, you want to be part of the U.S., you can't have that shit. And you could, that's what the, what what did, what did, what did, what did, what did, that's what's happening. No, I don't think that is. Well, we'll see. Look what, okay, uh, prime example. Look at what happened in the Inquisitions and the Reconquista, the whole nine. What they did when they took out and eat it against the whole world to impose Christianity. Yeah, but that's and, not what Christianity And put people to the stake and put people to the stake for not believing in Christianity. Or oh, you don't get that. You, you don't get your Christianity. You don't get your Christianity. Do with what I said. That's not what that's not what Christians are doing. What we're suggesting Christians do. We're suggesting Christians stop getting me gaslit and kick these motherfuckers out of their country or um, punish them severely when they come to their country and act like jack. Oh, I thought you were saying like, yo, just you know. Re- Make them remove their burqa and all of that stuff. No, no, yeah, yeah. Get them out of your country then. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. They got to remove their burqa. They're in your country. Listen, Hillary Clinton had to wear a hijab when she went to the Middle East. And she's the most powerful 
and at that time she was the most powerful woman in the world and she had to wear a hijab right in Greece, in a country when she was what was she secretary of state a country yeah. where she could press the button and bomb them into the stone age and she still had to wear a burqa over there because they required it and they demanded it right because that's their customs yeah yeah, I understand that. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Put the yeah. fucking thing on. That's what I'm saying. No, you missing me. She put that fucking thing on because she knew that yeah. was, that was it was no other. Yeah, she no was thing. respecting their culture, right? Yeah, no, I understand. She wasn't respecting their culture. You missing it? She wasn't respecting their culture. That was the rule. It was no yeah. That's the rule. Right. No, that's not respect. It's fear. Is Islam doesn't work in respect. Islam works in fear. Salute to no coincidence, man. He says he uh, a number for thirty-two months. He said acolytes want the link. No, diddy. Go ahead. So, so let me ask you this: Is is Islam? You have several sects of, sects of Islam. You have several sects of Christianity. You have several sects of Judaism. So, in so many different religious ways of life, you have so many different sects. Some believe things that the others don't, okay? Um, some may believe in violence, like you get these, you, you have extreme Christians, you have extreme Muslims, you know, all of them don't believe the same thing. You know, you have these extremists that, oh, I'm going to die in the name of Allah, or I'm going to die in the name of Jesus. Listen, listen, my man, listen, my man, all Muslims are potentially, they're all, they're all potentially going to be uh jihadist all of them all of them it, it, there's no such thing as a muslim that's that won't if if called to it by you know jihad won't show up to kill your ass christians ain't like that christians are just you know christians are more individualistic these motherfuckers will like listen You'll get Christians that will disagree with you. You'll get Christians that will criticize other Christians on the world stage in front of others, in front of other groups. You'll get Christians in front of a room of uh, mixed bag, let's say some Jews crew, some Hindus, some Muslims, everybody in there, African religions, and two Christians will argue in there and condemn each other if they think that someone did something or said something wrong. Muslims They'll never do that when they're around. Outside, I've, seen, I've right? seen it. I've seen. It. Oh shit! I've never. Seen no, it. I, no. Honestly, I've seen. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Who's seen that? Especially man? here, in Philly, especially here in Philly. I've seen it. I've seen it, and especially here in Philly. You have Sunni. You have Sunni. You have Sunnis going against. You know. Traditional Orthodox, whatever you know, they'll they'll have their words or whatever, and then you know they'll hug each other. Oh, respect, you know, that's your report. That's your point of view. I respect that. Oh, that's your point of view. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I, I've I've heard five percent against Muslims. No beef. It's just what they feel. You can't really impose your way of life on someone on someone else's belief. Is you know, I me. This is my opinion. I don't I don't consider it right. I don't try to force anybody into what I believe, and you know, no. It's, it's, Islam, yeah, yeah. Islam but what they, what do they do when they get power, though? <laughs> now here's the thing. Here's the thing, Mister Philly. Yeah. Go ahead. Good question. You're, you're, you're talking about you're talking about you're talking about, you're talking about different Mystic people, Philly. though. Mister Philly, Mister Philly, don't tell us your life story. Just answer the question. Be concise, man. What do Muslims do when they get into power? What do you what have you seen? Not what you might have seen, what have you seen? I'm listen, like I said, well you're talking you're talking about on the world stage. Dude, what I'm asking you, I need you to be specific. Everything. It's, it don't have to. It don't take me being specific. You trying to. You, you're trying to weasel your way out of it by asking me to be specific. No, I'm not. I'm listen. I'm trying to be clear and understand you. This is why I'm asking. You're talking. You you're talking. 
What do Muslims you talking? Do? You talking on the world stage? World stage, uh, city stage, whatever stage. Mm -hmm. What do they do when they get in the power? What do Muslims do when they get in the power? Okay, so you don't want to answer. You don't want to answer. I mean, no, it's not that I don't want to answer. It's not that I don't want to answer. Trust me, I don't ride it. I don't ride. Listen, I don't ride and die with them. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. I'm telling you what I've seen with my own eyes. Okay. Why don't you just say that they that they close ranks? They close ranks. They 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 set up, you know, um areas that are hostile to outsiders. Where they practice their religion, um, they practice their customs, and they become hostile to outsiders. And then they ultimately, and most times quickly, oppress and enslave others, people who aren't Muslims, people who aren't Middle Easterners. They oppress and enslave those people. That's what Muslims do. They oppress and enslave. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I've, yeah, I've definitely, yeah, I've definitely seen, yeah, I've, and I've seen that in, in, in many of African countries when I was over there. Yeah, oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So then, why did you? So then, why did you um, try to listen? Like, I'm not listening. No, I am not trying to defend them. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you from what. I saw it with my eyes, but when I was over there, yeah, different story. Yeah, definitely. But I also saw many, many of them at peace because when I was in China, you had a huge population of Chinese that were Muslim. And they were completely peaceful. They had their own community, their own schools. Well, they everything. know not to and get out of line over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they didn't bother yeah, anybody. They, they operate under fear over there they don't they know they can't express themselves to their full extent as it's dictated Focus in their literature yeah 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 all right man um i just i just i know you know that's the part that's just frustrating we all know you know how those people are you all we all know that you know what they bring to the table and you just I'm speaking of the radical ones. I, I listen, the radical ones, not all, all of them. The radical man, it's, it's all Muslims are radical. What do you yeah, the ones that aren't radical are actually the retards because they claim to believe the book, but they don't practice it. Yeah, they're all radical, man. Um, but they have an asterisk for that. Let's see this story.